Hey, it's Angela from Creating It, and today I wanted to show you how to find out which needle to use or which hook to use with which yarn. Um, when you're going to start a project and you're not quite sure which yarn weight you should use with which needle or hook, I'm going to totally simplify that for you here. And if you didn't see my last video about different yarn weights and how to tell the difference between them, you can click on the link here and it will take you right to that tutorial. So let's get started. Now the first one we're going to start with is this lace weight yarn. And you can see the lace weight here, size zero. Um, that is your weight of this yarn. And now this is a very thin weight yarn. And you're not going to want to use a thick needle or hook with this type of yarn. Just think small yarn, small hook, big yarn big hook. Same with the knitting needles. Um, so this one here you can see it recommends uh, a 1.5 millimeter hook. So here we have a 1.5 millimeter hook and this is about the size that you would use and you can see that that's very tiny right there. And usually you can range a little bit. It doesn't have to be exactly a 1.5 millimeter depending on if you're doing open lace work or if you want something a little tighter. You have a little bit of room to get a little bit of smaller needle or hook or a little bit larger needle or hook. Um, so you could go from a 1.5 to a 2 millimeter to um, something a little bigger just depending on how you want your garment to lay. Um, so your knitting needle would be also very small. Um, you would you want to use about a one or a zero size um, knitting needle. It would just depend. Um, that would be smaller than this. I don't have a zero or one um, size knitting needle, but it would be a much smaller, much thinner needle than this one. Okay, so the next skein of yarn that we have here is a number two weight yarn, and that is also called fine or sport or baby weight yarn. Um, now, the recommended hook and needle size for this would be approximately a size 4 knitting needle and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And so you can see here I have some samples here and you'll notice that as we go up in yarn weight the needles and hooks start to get larger. So here we have some examples of the different um, needles and hooks that you would use for this yarn and that is what you would need for your number two weight yarn. This yarn here is a number three weight yarn as you can see here and this is also called a light worsted. Um, you can see in the box here where it says what needle and hook they recommend. They recommend a US 6 pair of knitting needles or a 4 millimeter crochet hook otherwise known as a G or number 6 hook. So here I have some examples of some needles that you would use. These are size 7 and these here are size 6. So that kind of shows you a little bit of the width of the needle that you would need for this weight yarn. And here I have a couple crochet hooks in the size that you would use for this um, skein of yarn here. This is a 4.25 millimeter and this one here is a 4 millimeter. Um, so you can see what size hook you would use for this yarn. And that's what you would need for a number three weight yarn. This skein here is going to be a number four. This is a number four weight yarn. This is one of the most popular ones that are used on many projects. Like I said before, it's really good for beginners. Um, so with this weight yarn, you're going to want to use a needle that is approximately 5.5 millimeter or a US 9 knitting needle or a size J crochet hook, which is 6 millimeter. And so here I have a couple examples of knitting needles. These here are US 8s, which would work great. And like I said, you don't have to go exactly to what they say um, on the package here. You want to just get somewhere close and you also want to get something that's going to get you your gauge for your project as well. So here's a pair of nine knitting needles that I have, which is what um, this skein calls exactly for. So this is how thick that they would look and you can see how it would correspond well with this yarn. And then I have a couple crochet hooks here that are size five millimeter, which is also a US H and another six millimeter here. So these both show you how you would pick your hook size for this yarn. So this is what you would need for a number four medium worsted weight yarn. Okay, so we're getting down to a couple of my favorites here as we start to go down to the bulkier weight yarns. Um, you can see from a lot of my patterns and what I like to design with. Um, I like the chunkier yarns because they go so fast. Um, so this one here is a number five weight bulky yarn 
And this one is really fun to work with. And you are going to want, it says here, a 6.5 millimeter hook, which is also a K. Or you would want a pair of US 13 um, knitting needles. Now this one here is a number five bulky weight yarn. Uh, this is also known as chunky. So chunky and bulky are both correct terms for this one. And it says it recommends here a K crochet hook or 6.5 millimeter. And it also recommends a 10 and a half knitting needle. Um, now you can give a little bit on this one. I've used 11s on this. Um, 10 and a halfs are actually perfect. Um, so I'll show you right here what we have. This here is a size 10 knitting needle, which you could also use. And you can see here how that would go great with that yarn. And right here I have a pair of US 11 knitting needles, which also work too with the chunky. Um, it will give you a more holy look with these. So just remember that the bigger range, you know, on that side of the spectrum, the bigger the needle or hook you go with, the more holy and relaxed your garment is gonna look like. And the smaller the needles that you pick or hook, the tighter the fabric is going to be. And I also have a few crochet hooks here. Um, this one is a seven millimeter hook, which would go very nicely with this. And then I also have an eight millimeter hook and a 6.5 millimeter hook. So all of these would be great for this type of yarn. So those are the needles and hooks you would need for a chunky or bulky size number five weight yarn. Now this is one of my all time favorites is the super bulky. Um, this is the last one I'm going to do. The um, yarn weights actually do go up to size jumbo, which is a number seven weight, um, but I don't have any of that with me. So the largest one I'm going to show you here is the number six super bulky weight yarn here. Now this one knits up and crochets really fast. So if you like instant gratification and like to get your projects done quickly, this is the perfect yarn. Now this one here recommends a needle in size US 13 a nine millimeter knitting needle, or a USN nine millimeter crochet hook. So I've got some samples here. Um, like I said, it recommends a US 13 knitting needle, but you can go up to 15s and 17s. Right here, I have a pair of 15 knitting needles, and you can see that these are just huge. Um, but you can go up to 15 and 17. I have used it on certain patterns depending on the stitch. If the stitch is a little bit tighter the way it's worked, then you might want to go up in needle size. So you can go up to that one. Um, you can also use size 13s, which, which is what it calls for. And I have a pair here. And you can see the bigger the needle, the bigger the yarn. And then I have a couple crochet hooks here. I have a USP crochet hook here, which is really big and fun. And I have this one here, which is a nine millimeter crochet hook as well. Here I have some samples of a few crochet hooks that you can use for um, this yarn as well. I have a USP here, which is a fun little green plastic hook. And I have a nine millimeter bamboo hook here, which would work nicely with that. And then I have a 10 millimeter hook here, which also works really nicely as well. So I hope this tutorial helped you better understand how to choose the right needles and hooks for your projects and the specific yarn that you have. And remember that you will find the recommended um, needle and hook size on the back. But remember, that's a suggestion. You always got to check your gauge for your project. And again, if you like the way a different needle or hook looks versus what they recommend, then just go with it. Um, it's just all based on how your project will look, but you want to get as close as possible to what the recommended needle or hook sizes. So um, just let me know if you have any questions and comments below and keep on creating.